You just got flipper flicks. <laughs> a play on a quote from the movie from Wolf. Oh You'll my goodness. <laughs> oh, I, thought, I thought you were going to go with like, um, I'm dating flipper flicks. There, yeah. there's, there's way too many, but yeah. The quotes, a rude, or you know, he like howls and then he says, he just got wolfed. You got wolfed. <laughs> I thought Wolf cola. <laughs> Wolf cola. Trademarked. Yeah. <clears throat> but I'm Tim. Adam. This is Flipper Flicks. Adam. <laughs> I'm Sam. Adam. <laughs> Do you want them um, to know your name? <laughs> I think he really does. Yeah. <laughs> but nah. uh, we watched a movie you may or may not have heard of. You probably did, especially if you're our age, because um, the start of these movies kind of happened around when we were growing up. So this is Disaster Movie from 2008, and uh, the synopsis is riveting. Over the course of one evening, an unsuspecting group of 20-somethings finds themselves bombarded by a series of natural disasters and catastrophic events. That's, that sounds better than what the movie cover leads on. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It could be a legitimate movie using that. Oh, yeah. No, this movie could have been a real movie, but then it yeah. chose to not be one. Yeah. Where? Yeah. Where did we watch this? Was it on Netflix? No, it's Tim. Oh, um, it's on Prime. Okay. <laughs> yeah. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Literally, it just, it was, it was just, yeah. If it if it's Tim, it's Amazon Prime. If it's Sam, it's Usually, HBO Max. I don't intentionally do that. It just <laughs> happens. It's your platform, man. What I feel like, guess so. I feel like I end up leaning towards Netflix or HBO Max. Yeah. Sam I is like definitely. HBO a lot. Sam's de- Oh, wait, wait. It's just Max. Max. Yeah, yeah, I fucking hate Max That's fucking now. stupid. <laughs> it, it's, it's very actually bad. Yeah, they like got I've rid been of it the... once. It's just it's just terrible. It's super laggy. Yeah, like and they uh, removed yeah. the South Park Visitor Center. Yeah, which I'm so salty about. Like they removed they even changed. a lot of the like cool HBO stuff to like if you're somebody like me who can't make a decision and you can like kind of browse around, you know, like they kind of removed mm-hmm. that. Now you basically get like a search bar and all of like HGTV yeah. and food networks on the front. And I'm like 90 day fiance times a hundred. That's yeah. cool. But I want to watch the South Park Visitor Center. <laughs> so they did it because they merged with Discovery. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they're like, we only we want to save our cus- consumers money by Removing Discovery Plus and HBO Max, we'll just make Max. And now it's garbage. <laughs> how do you how do you it. mess it up that badly? Right, <laughs> like if you truly wanted to help us, you would have just merged them together and called it a day. Right, like yeah. take yeah, just, the better app and then just put all the programming on there. Which, by the way, was HBO Max. Yeah, to yeah. be clear. Anyway, Disaster Baby wasn't on there. It was on Prime. <laughs> which for us is yeah. a struggle to use. It's laggy on our TV. Really. Yeah. It's dependent on your TV, like which version of the app. Interesting. That would be why she, um, Sam and I tend to kind of move away from Prime. We'll use other things. Yeah. Hmm. Just depends on what app runs Odd. great. Yeah. Yeah. This movie, though. Disaster movie. This yes. movie. Thanks, I live Hate up It. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, was it for Thanks, I Hate It? Yes, it was for It a, was. Nice. <laughs> it was for a TV. by Rihanna. Ah, very good. Uh, <laughs> she sent me like three movies, and I was like, "What are these for?" And she's like, "You told me you need a bad movie." I was like, "Oh, <laughs> thank you." Yeah, Tim, Tim, real quick, um, can you tell us what movie you tried to pitch us like three nope. times? <laughs> nope. Saving it for a different episode. <laughs> it was. I will just say around episode fifteen, there's a sequel out now. Well, there's not yeah. now, not now, in eleven days, and that was the main hangup. I just know I'm gonna hate it just because it shouldn't exist. Correct. That's my main thing yes. about it. I correct. It should not exist. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so passionate about this specific movie not existing when there's a ton of sequels that shouldn't exist. But yeah, like, for some reason this one just b- irks me. Yeah, like Blow the Man Down had a clear ending. Mm-hmm. Right. Wait, wrong movie. <laughs> yeah, I was a little confused there. <laughs> I was just gonna start listing off other movies. Coherence, just two. random movie. Yeah, Coherence. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Swept away again. No, I knew that was coming. Speaking of, I like to say that Swept Away is the bottom of the barrel, but I gotta say, it's getting a lot of company down there yeah. these days. Did this, did, Cozy. Did yeah. our barrel have like a false bottom? Maybe. You lifted it up and you <laughs> yeah. found a You found deeper... more shit. Yeah. Right, yeah. A hundred percent. 
At least my barrel did. Because I was oh, like, God. I didn't think it could get worse. And here we are. Dude. Yeah. Today. <laughs> Tim, you watched Mad TV back in the day, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, no shit. I don't know why I'm asking you this. I watched <laughs> it at your house with you. I did yeah. not. So tell me about Mad TV. <laughs> Just imagine Key and Peel, but with more actors. Okay. Yeah. But it's a series of skits. Okay. And I felt like this right. movie tried to make a series of fucking spoof skits and string them together, but there was no string. There was no string. No. It was just like, we're doing High School Musical now. Let me do a four-minute song number. Right. Yeah. And then move on and act like it didn't happen. I have yeah. a lot of beef with this film, but one of which is that it's disaster movie. So I was thinking, okay, it's going to spoof disaster movies, right? Like, right. logically. And like the Twister Cow thing. Fits the bill. I was yeah. like, all right, yeah. I'm expecting that. What I was not expecting was like Juno, Alvin and the Chipmunks, yeah, just Hannah so Montana. Random. I was Iron like, Man, the why Hulk. Why is this in this movie? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Well, and that's the thing. Like, they strayed so far from what made the originals actually entertaining. Yeah. It's like they were specifically spoofing something yeah. and maybe sprinkled in some other stuff. And then these other ones came out and it's just a bunch of stuff mashed together. Yeah, they're like, dude. And Dude, we got high and let's just keep dude, that's hilarious. Like write that down and oh man. What if we did yeah. a joke about Hannah? Yeah. <laughs> it honestly felt as put together as a child's cartoon. Worse. Like it, it like yeah, I mean it, it's literally SpongeBob has better plot weird, lines. Weird. Well, I'm just saying, like, the idea behind a cartoon is it has to change constantly and make a bunch yeah. of weird sounds and shit because it has to hold, hold the kids' attention because they're goldfish. So it's like, that's kind of, I mean, that's how this felt. It was just terrible. <laughs> like, not quality TV to watch. It was just fucking terrible. Yeah. And I think the other thing that I had beef with it was like, okay, so now we've decided we're going to spoof all these things plus disaster movies. But like, we really needed some editing. <laughs> to happen like <laughs> the burp scene at the beginning oh, God. was like forever and I don't then even remember it way I, too I erased out. it high school musical yeah, until she said it. Yeah, yeah that one was too long that was too long like yeah, it felt like long. all of the jokes were just like and it wasn't like it was a beat too long it was like several minutes too long yes <laughs> and I'm like were they just looking for a way to fill time or and then they had the enchanted prince and princess dance off Yes. Yeah. And you're like, okay, so like thematically, like, oh, we're going to dance to earn the princess's hand. And then the princess is dancing against them? Yeah. I like, don't know. I don't know. All of it was confusing. Yeah. And I would say by the time we got to Alvin and the Chipmunks, I was ready to fast forward through the rest of the movie. Yeah. And just play it on two times speed or some shit. Yeah. Which we I were, don't. We looked for it. I don't know how, <laughs> if it would allow me to listen to the audio, I 100% would have done that. Like on YouTube, how you can like do like 1.75 and you can still hear the audio and they sound like chipmunks, but like you can catch what they're saying. I would do that. But on the streaming yeah. platforms, it just like glitches forward. <laughs> like you can't really <laughs> see what's happening. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I don't even know when Alvin then the chipmunks was, but I feel like there was probably a solid like 40 minutes still at that point. There was. There was. Oh, easily, yeah. And like for the like a good third of the movie, the longest scene might have been, I don't know. It was right after the wanted, like curve the bullet. Oh my god. When Carmen <laughs> Electra came in. But like then they just started wrestling. And I'm like, okay, so I found out who the audience is. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes. Was it Kim who was wrestling Carmen Electra? Yeah. Like, yeah. also, why the fuck is Kim Kardashian in this? I was wondering, was this, like, her first situation? Like, did she come on the scene in disaster movie? No, she, or like she's, her family has a fuckload of money. I know, but like, this may have been, like, her family had a shitload of money, and she was like, I'm just going to be in disaster movie. Like, was yeah. keeping up with the Kat Kardashians a thing at this point? Fuck if I know. I feel like it wasn't. I don't, I don't know, know, though. I didn't pay attention to that stuff. <laughs> I, yeah. I feel like Paris Hilton was still reigning supreme at this point. She, yeah. Hmm. No, okay, yeah. yeah, this is her Maybe first right. movie. Let's see. Then she was in Shocker. Deep in the Valley, which looks like a porn. <laughs> okay. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> On brand. Is, right? I mean, like, okay, Sam. Oh, yeah. It does look like a porn. 
where every fantasy comes true deep in the valley starring chris pratt <laughs> what oh man <laughs> let me see if you can see it tim yeah all right so next up on flipper flicks deep in the valley <laughs> <laughs> Great. just go through kim kardashian yeah why <laughs> Oh my god. No, but I just feel like there were a lot of just like weird situations like that where it was like yeah. okay, I guess we're we're pandering to teenage boys? Question mark. Yeah. <laughs> like, Definitely <laughs> felt that way and I'm like no. But not in like a funny way. No, just here's a 5 minute clip of two girls wrestling. Yeah. And I feel like there were also continuity errors. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah, yeah. People were getting cuts, and then they weren't cut. They were stabbed, and they then they weren't stabbed. Yeah. Mostly which, Vanessa Lachey. Yeah, which I would be willing to forgive that if the rest of the movie was okay. Like, if you think a scary movie, I'm sure there's continuity errors. Which is part of it, I would feel like. Yeah, like it goes with the genre, but like. Right. This was just one more thing that annoyed me about this film because I was like, <laughs> fuck these people, man. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I don't even. Fuck all of these people. Specifically, um, fuck Jason Friedberg and Adam Aaron Seltzer. These two did meet the Spartans. We're va um, vampires suck and this one. Okay, so they weren't the scary movie people. No, no, no. The Wayan brothers are the scary movie people. Okay. Yeah. That's why it's good. Yeah, so this was what I was going to ask. Like, this is such, like, a time capsule, I feel like. Like, I don't know. Like, there are spoof movies now, but it's almost like they're spoofing, like, shittily, which I guess this movie is too, but not to this extent, if that makes any sense. Like, yeah. the Sherlock Holmes movie we um, watched took itself seriously. That was Asylum. Asylum's <clears throat> different, right? Like, the spoof movies are supposed to just be like, we're literally just trying to make a dime off of another movie being made. Like, do right. We, yeah. So then the question is, do we even still like have those or just Asylum has the market cornered on those? I would say that they have the corner or they realize that spoof movies aren't working anymore. Especially yeah. not the way they're doing them. <laughs> like South Park does spoofs all the time. Most of South Park is a spoof. Right. Yeah. But done well. Right. I was gonna say maybe that's the thing. Maybe TV shows are just spoofing, and so you can't get away with a a movie in theaters spoofing anymore. It's basically like you'll see it on South Park or Family Guy or whatever else. And then what? At what point is a spoof a callback or a callback a spoof? Mm -hmm. Or like, you know what I mean? Like, right? Yeah. I feel like a spoof is like it's not doing it as a joke. Oh, I, was oh I mean, as a joke, as a joke. Yeah, it's doing it as a joke versus a callback is like, <laughs> they take it seriously. Yeah, they're trying to make a genuine reference. Yeah. Yeah. Or like a spoof is kind of like an actual plot line played out and a callback is just like a joke thrown in there. Like I don't a know. glimpse. Yeah. 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 Somebody go solve that for us. Yeah. Yeah. Let's Do tell. <laughs> Interns away. <laughs> But after watching this, it makes me happy that we don't have a spoof genre anymore. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not upset about <laughs> yeah. Hey, this movie, this movie had a critic that after he saw it, his article said they should be disgraced because they insulted his intelligence, the American people's intelligence, and what was the last one? Oh, I don't remember the last one. But he was just pissed about this movie he went and gathered every negative review he could find and mailed it to them <laughs> that, wow that's pretty, that's he was petty but at the same it. time like yeah and i was like i kind of feel it at the same time yeah i mean we talk a lot about movies that at least i do on the podcast of like i get really angry that they wasted my time but this one is like the epitome of like you fucking wasted my time like Right. So much so. I'm glad it's not two hours. I'm glad we don't have spoof movies anymore because they'd be fucking two hours. Because that's the runtime now. Be. Yeah, because that would literally be, yeah. It'd so be what, horrible. If Bollywood does spoof movies, it'll be two and a half hours minimum but with a sequel that's three hours. At least you'll have some good dance scenes, man. <laughs> yeah, better, uh, much better. Yeah. Sam made a comment when we were watching. She's like, the production, like not the production value, but the amount of effort they went in to choreographing the high school musical dance. Yeah. For this film. Like right. It, and it, like 
I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy to me. Like that wasn't the only dance sequence. So it they wasn't. had to hire a choreographer to do the couple of those that they had in there. So they spent a decent chunk of money, I have to assume. Right. To give us this pile of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Which uh, uh, is unfathomable to me. <laughs> like, why? Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Is it because you're dating Matt? Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Oh, my God. Like, this is so random. <laughs> dude, dude. At the very end of the movie. Why does he show up in everything that's like a spoof? Right? I don't know. Like, why is his name just dropped in everything? It's easy <laughs> and I'm recognizable. Matt Damon. Yeah, like. So. <laughs> The original, like, the unrated version of the song is I'm fucking Matt Damon. Nice. And they say fucking the whole time. Oh, okay. I'm fucking <laughs> Matt Damon. Nice. Matt Damon. South Matt Park did it better. Matt Damon. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Team America World Police. Team America, right. Yeah. Same difference. <laughs> we all know what we're talking about here. Yeah. I also... I mean, I find it funny to look back on it now. Some of the, like, super dated references, like Flava Flav. <laughs> oh, God, God, yes. yeah, I completely forgot about him. Kids these days, Flavor they don't know. Oh they don't know about Flavor of Love, I don't think. I don't think so. No. Or then, like, who was, there was, like, another one. I don't know. They had so much. My sister would turn on occasionally, and I'd be like, you're killing all of my brains. <laughs> I will Sorry, say the funniest burn. character is the fact that there was one actor that played like 13 different roles. And yeah. he's actually in other stuff. Ike uh, Baron Holtz. Oh, yeah. He's actually pretty funny. Yeah. He is. <laughs> I am Beowulf. Yeah. I was Beowulf. glad to see him the many times that I saw him because I, I was know, like, yeah. I that like this the, dude. <laughs> that was the single spark in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. But Agreed. So apparently a lot of the movies that they spoofed weren't out yet. They only oh. spoofed. They spoofed them what? based off the trailer. So if you think about Beowulf, that whole scene, all you see is all you know about him is from the trailer is I am Beowulf. Yeah, that's it. Like, oh. so that's why he keeps saying it. See, that to me is even weirder because you're gonna go to theaters to watch this movie that's spoofing a bunch of movies that you don't even know yeah. about. Why not just make fun of the happening and just put the happening <laughs> on? For right. real. <laughs> like, they could have done idea. so many, like, good disaster movies. Like, they could have spoofed The Blob, The Happening, Killer Tomatoes. What was that? 12 like, weeks later or 12 days later, maybe, yeah. or something? Or, and, like, 2020 or 2012 or something like yeah. that? Well, 2012 like, wasn't out yet. This actual was disaster that. movies? Yeah. Because, like like yeah. I said, like, I enjoyed The Cows yeah, from I guess Twister. Yeah, but. <laughs> but there's, like, the, the one, There's like, so um, many of them, dude. Like, uh, I remember when I was a kid, there was one um, about a volcano erupting. Joe versus the volcano? And, I don't know. It was a serious movie, like okay. a drama. Probably wasn't jo Joe and it was the like volcano then. people leaving, get it, basically evacuating from the volcano, you know. Was it a Pompeii And like movie? lava killing people and stuff. I don't know. It was crazy. Well, then there was yeah. that one movie. Fuck. It it's had, old. <laughs> there was the tsunami movie yeah. that we watched one time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's Armageddon. That came out in the 90s, didn't it? Like, yeah. There's... Armageddon's a fantastic movie, too. That would have been a great one to spoof. Titanic. Yeah. Actually, I think it's been done. Probably. <laughs> yeah, Titanic is up there. And, like, uh... so many good ones, and they choose this garbage. Yeah. <laughs> like, here, we're just going to... Yeah, I still am confused. How is High School Musical a disaster? Like, belong in high... Like... It doesn't. A disaster movie. That's it doesn't. Answer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sam, what's the movie when they're stuck out at sea? Adrift, but that wasn't out No, yet. I know. There was one. Perfect Storm. Oh, yeah. Perfect Storm is old. They could have uh, done that. That's a really good one, too. They could have done, yeah. See, we have, like, all of these disaster movies. You know what? If I get, there are two categories left. We have uh -oh. Split the Pod, lols, mm -hmm. and, like, Budget Destroyer, which is just a giant blockbuster that did great. If I get Budget Destroyer, I'm going to pick a good disaster movie. Please do. Yeah. To deem our Rid disaster us. category. <laughs> Rid us yeah. of this. Didn't we have Twister this season? <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah. We did. Yeah. yeah. So, good disaster movie. Bad disaster movie is disaster movie. Yeah. Well, and you could look up Tim's volcano movie. Now I'm just very interested in what movie that is. I have a feeling. It <laughs> I know. I, I, I can't remember. It's an older movie, though. I feel like Robert Redford, which I don't know how I know that name. Because um, he's great. Is oh, in he's, it. He's been then around Then it's forever. very old. 
Well, not very old, but it's old. old. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he's in it. Nice. And I'm probably completely wrong. <laughs> I'll watch it. Volcanoes. <laughs> Robert Redford. I mean, it's just it's just like people like slowly getting killed by lava and shit. Nice <laughs> cars being melted and stuff. It's pretty great. The floor is lava. You have to navigate. Yeah, exactly. No That's piece. what it is. <laughs> Was it called Dante's Peak? Probably the Great Wall of Pepper. Great. What the hell that is? <laughs> oh no, that's Robert Redford in uh, World War One movie where he's flying. I don't think that's it. I don't think so either. Mm. <laughs> no, I think it's Dante's Peak. Okay, nice. Well, the only other note I had, we kind of already touched on, but I just want to bring it up again that I have no idea why the ending credit scene is like talking about who everybody's dating slash fucking. Like, yeah, I don't that doesn't make any that. sense. It was so that you just had to watch that to get a recap of the whole film. I don't know. So I could have just watched that and been done with it. Pro yeah. tip. Yeah, pro oh. tip. Just do yeah. that. It's also considered... Don't even, don't even do that. <laughs> you don't even need to do that, man. <laughs> All look right. at the cover. Run. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Roasted. Newly watched. <laughs> all right. All right. So the critics give this movie a 1%. Yeah. It gets even better. So it's only a 1% because a single person <laughs> gave it a thumbs up. Mm. Wow. Out of like 74. One single human. And then the audience... Salty that day. Audience yeah. gave it a 21%. That is high. How? Yeah. <laughs> IMDb has a record score for us of a 1.9 out of 10. I remember seeing yeah, that. Like, we were on Prime, and it was, like, four stars, and then yeah. 1.9. Like, and I'm like, well, this is Did you very see the four confusing. stars on Prime, huh? Tim? I didn't see. Oh, yeah, I did, actually, yeah. I'm like, the fuck? Like, I'm very yeah. confused. <laughs> and then Google has it at a 54%. Basically, one in two people like this film, according to Google. Who are the people that like this film? All right. So, Some Sam. Teen. Some okay. like young kid. <laughs> yeah. So, the budget for this movie was $20 million, and it made a box office of $34.8 million. It did not bust. That yeah. That doesn't surprise me, though. No. For doesn't. the time. It came out in the era of these movies. So, yeah. All right. I don't so think there'd be any interest in it now. Yeah. No. Definitely not. Uh, well, yeah. They would be spoofing like Stranger Things. Right, yeah. And that actually they probably wouldn't. Stranger Things wouldn't be in it because that would make sense. <laughs> it would be other shit. True. They'd just be spoofing Marvel. It'd be it'd be Bridgerton when it's supposed to be Stranger Things. Sure. <coughs> probably. <Why not? laughs> You're welcome. I just solved the disaster movie of twenty twenty three. All right, Tim. Nailed it. What are your what are you giving this? You flipping it on? Sounds like you are. Well, so <laughs> I gave um, it a one on everything. Uh, just utter trash for everything. <laughs> the entire Dialogue, thing. plot, vibe, pacing, except for acting. I gave wow. acting a three. Whoa. Because I actually thought, I mean, the one guy we were talking about, he's yeah. always entertaining to watch. And I think people were just having fun with their roles. And like, there was only one person that stood out to me that was like super cringe, which was like, like the McLovin dude. Yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, everybody was like, okay, like it was fine. So I, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to knock them too hard. But, um, and the music and cinematography, I actually said on, I went on the positive side for that. Um, <laughs> because you know, it's like not supposed to be super great cinematography. In, in, yeah, that's uh, so true. I think yeah. they kind of like hit that on the head and so I think it you know so I went positive with that um, you flipping it on in a hotel <laughs> oh hell no uh, <laughs> uh, it says flip off so next week is going to be better right <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, I agree that's a flip off um, it lived up to its name it was a disaster yeah uh, but not in the way they wanted it to be exactly so. <laughs> yeah I didn't even do my algorithm because I knew what it was going to be because it was all ones and Well, yeah, you do. It was all ones and no's. Scrape my eyeballs out. <laughs> don't. Just don't. Don't. They should. If they could find it, like, just delete it. Mm -hmm. Just find yeah. it. Find the, the MP4 or whatever it's saved as and just delete it. Yeah, just get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'd be fine with that. Yeah. I followed your suit. You were like, I don't even need to do my algorithm. And I'm like, shit, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> this one was just especially like bad. Yeah. yeah. Although I do like your points, Tim. I don't know that I agree with them because I just hated this movie so much. But I can see where you're coming from. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, like, no, okay. I, right. I don't. Everything you said was correct. If I had been a yeah. nicer human today, perhaps I would have done the same thing. <laughs> but a different but, mood, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this Not just today. made me grumpy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it made me angry that I had to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. Oh, so skip this one. Sounds like from but all not of this us. Episode. Don't skip yeah, us. Avoid it. Yeah. I'm going to just go ahead and spin the wheel. We're down to two. Dun, dun, dun. Nice. I got Budget Destroyer. Oh. I'm going to find a better disaster movie than this. <laughs> We're going to cleanse watch our it. palate. Oh, my. <laughs> Sounds good. Because I'm dating Matt Damon. Oh, God. <laughs> Beowulf. If you like this episode, follow us on uh, Instagram and Twitter, at FlipperFlix. I guess we don't have to say it anymore, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm old. Follow along, see what we're doing. Interact if you'd like to. Yeah, hit us up there. I don't know. You can also give us recommendations on other of those sites, or you can go to our website at www.flipperflix.com yeah we do a couple recommendations each season so we just love getting we're trying to pander right now we're trying to get you to come to our website give us some clicks <laughs> and recommend us a movie because you know we're gonna have to pick those eventually and more the merrier right yeah you can also speaking of pandering you can also uh rate us rate and review us on apple spotify now oh we also do polls there occasionally so that's always fun. Answer Adam's questions. Answer all of my questions, God damn it. <laughs> and uh, if you're wondering, when can I catch these fools? You can catch us at 1 p.m. Eastern on Thursdays. We're on Spotify, as Adam mentions, where he does his polls. We're on Apple, Google, Amazon. I believe you can subscribe on the various platforms, and that way you'll get like a push notification or it'll come right into your queue, so that way you don't ever have to look at the clock on Thursday. It'll just be there for you. Kitty! Give me a Give me a Bye, later. <laughs> <laughs>